Good afternoon, table tennis fans. We're broadcasting live from Yekaterinburg in Russia. You're watching the 2015 European Table Tennis Championships. We have an exciting lineup for you today. These players have reached far and they're looking to move on into the next round. The current matchup will see Andre Gacina of Croatia take on Bar Garel of Sweden. It's the quarterfinals. Winner will move on, of course, into the semifinal. The players will start warming up shortly to hit their stride, find their pace, and then the game will begin. Taking some last words of advice there was Park Garel. Okay, I have two colors, black and red. What color you red for your black? You choose. Service. Service. You receive reason? Service. Swedish player, Par Garel, you see, dressed in light blue. Andre Gacina, dressed in the red jersey, red and blue jersey, navy blue jersey. You see the stats right in front of you right now. 33 years of age, Par Garel has quite the experience. He is ranked 12th currently in the senior men's category, and that's Andre Gacina. That was on your screen, and whose stats came up. Gacina is ranked 11th in the men's seniors category, so both these players are currently ranked very close to each other, and this one should be a close one. Bar Garel had to defeat Kirill Skachov of Russia in the previous round. Prior to that, he defeated Ricardo Walther of Germany to make it here and book a place in the quarterfinals and he'll be looking to move on into the semifinal, as will Andre Gacina, who defeated Wen Hezi of Spain in the previous round and Daniel Habison of Austria in the round prior to that. Winner of this one will move on to play against the winner of the matchup between Robert Gardoj and Marcus Freitas. In the semifinal. First game. Our girl has made it to the semifinals two times. Sorry, a single time in the European Championships previously, back in 2010, when the event took place in Ostrava, the Czech Republic. Andre Gacina does have a gold medal in the European Championships. One which he earned back in 2011, as this one gets underway. Both players, as you can see, are playing with an attacking style, not holding back. 
Both have come out guns blazing. The first point goes to Pargarel. Would you look at the way Andre Gacina just had to lean down to fire that forehand stroke there. You'll see it in the replay. What a beauty of a shot. Good serve by Gacina, putting himself up by one. Still, of course, early in this matchup. First game, best of seven as always. Smart play this time by Pargarel to earn that point. Going for the kill when he found the opportunity and burying it. Series of offensive maneuvers by Pargarel sees him establish a lead. Let's see if he can build on that. His forehand stroke failing him this time. Gacina gets the point. Gacina also has quite the experience, 29 years of age. He's been around in this game at the top level for a while. Well executed forehand stroke there by Pargarel. He just siphoned that one into the body of his opponent. Gacina's backhand failing him. Pargarel in the lead by two. Five, four. You can see Gacina's footwork on display there in the replay. Let five, four. Stop. Please, serious, clear behind the end line. Okay, I doubt. Okay, I doubt. Five, four. Warning by the umpire. Clear behind the end line. Okay, thank Mark you. Mark Garel disagrees. But the umpire holds his ground. You can hear a girl's dismay there at how it just <laughs> ricocheted off the top of the net. He was headed the other way to reach out for the forehand stroke dealt his way. That one goes Gacina's way and that's him serving. Buried well by Gacina. Just smashes that one, having to lean into the net towards the table. And Gachita will serve once more. Five, seven. Good serve. Sees him establish a two point lead. Gachina's current club is FC Saarbrücken in Germany. Pargarel, on the other hand, has been with Chartre ASTT since 2010. Oh, 
Sartre, as most of you most likely know, are a French club, a French outfit. That was a good play there by Gacina. Laying the ball on to the far side. And catching his opponent on the wrong footing. He'll be serving once more. Nine, six. Well played by Pargarel for the point. Forcing Gacina to reach out there. Seven, ten. And Gacina finds himself in an advantageous situation. He'll be playing for game point to put himself up one nothing in this quarterfinal matchup. Ten, eight. That one doesn't go quite his way. He has another two attempts to seal the deal here before Pargarel closes in and starts breathing, breathing down his neck. Not the serve he would have wanted. But that's more like it for Gacina. Ecstatic. Winning that one 11 9 and going up by one. Still a lot of table tennis action in this matchup. The players will return after a brief consultation with their coaches. And we're back. This one will commence. The first game was won by Andre Gacina. It wasn't an easy task, but he came out on top 11 to 9. It's been a close contest so far as both these players are quite close to each other in terms of ranking and talent as well as experience. On more than one occasion, it seems that Gacina serves have been difficult to deal with for Par Garel. One. 
Can't keep that backhand down. Learning Gacina the point. And it's a tied game yet again. A sight we've become accustomed to seeing so far. Gacina will do the honors. Well placed ball by Fargarell and a lapse of concentration there by Gacina sees him concede the point. a brilliant shot there by Pargarel, the forehand stroke. Struck with a lot of top spin. Look at that. Not an easy one to counter. Earns him the point. Once again, he opts to go for the same stroke, but the neck gets the best of him. And believe it or not, it's a tied game yet again. Gacina breaking things up here. And trying to establish a lead, up by two. Five, six. That was a well-delivered forehead stroke yet again by Pargarel. When he hits them on target, he does well. And they can be deadly. It packs a lot of power and top spin in those strokes. But they have to land on the table to be effective and they don't always do so. Yet he's come back from two behind and managed to make it six all. A tied game yet again. Well-delivered forehand stroke there by Andre Gacina. Look at the placement of that to the far edge, forcing his opponent to do some leg work, and he just couldn't get there in time. He lacked the speed and the athleticism. Gacina serving. Gacina using his forehand to his advantage. And Garel finds himself behind yet again. Seven, eight. Doesn't really phase him though, the Swedish player manages to constantly come back from behind. And he's done it yet again, using that serve to his advantage. Eight, 
Nein. Mixing things up and using the full breadth of the table there, both players, but Pod Gurel coming out on top and going into the lead for the first time in quite a while in this game. Bit too hasty on Gachina's part. Can't land it on target and Park Garel sees himself playing for game point to make it one all. Which no doubt could prove crucial. Well placed shot by Gachina there. Would you look at that? It was an amazing delivery down the line to perfection. Yeah. And he's done it. So the first game goes 11 9 Gachina's way, the second game goes 11 9 Park Garel's way. Swedish player has done well as opposed to letting his opponent break away two games to nil he came out and did what he had to do to tie this one at one all this one will resume after this brief talk the players are having with their coaches One loss. Garel off to a good start in this third game. On the offensive there, Gachina with a series of well-played forehand strokes, back-to-back, -back, earning him the point. Pargarel comes out on top in that one. He has earned a, a doubles bronze in 2010 at the European Championships with his what? teammate Jens Lundqvist and a team silver in 2011.
Gachina has won back in 2011 the gold in the doubles. Amazing rally that was. Gachina forcing his opponent away from the table. And striking those strokes with venom. Not an easy game to play. And Pargarel ends up making a mistake there. Three all. Struck with venom by the Croatian international. He just found the opening and sealed the deal there. <laughs> Tit for tat, an amazing performance in that game. Responding to that forehand stroke, coming his way with a lot of topspin is not easy. Six, four. A great rally that was. Gachina still in the lead despite conceding that last point. Seven, Would you look at the way Gachina just extends his reach there to respond to that ball sent his way by Park Garel. Showing off his athleticism and reach. Delivered backhand stroke by Pargarel to perfection. You see it here in the lead play. Look at that. To the far edge, forcing his opponent to cover some ground. So, Pargarel is looking for a way back into this. And he does it. Down by three at one point. He wiggles his way back into this game. What a rally that was. An amazing performance by both these players in that rally, but it was Gachina coming out on top with the point. Well deserved though. You can tell from his face how determined he was and how happy he was to have won that point. He'll be serving.
And it's a tied game yet again. No surprise as the first two games were both won by a score of 11 to nine. And this one seems to be headed in that same direction. Nine, eight. Can't quite flick that backhand to his liking, Gacina. On the serve by Gorel. Pargarel will be playing for game point. It's currently tied at one all. So winner of this one undoubtedly will have an advantage. As slight as that may be. Gargarel does it. Once again, a score of 11 to 9. That one puts Pargarel up 2 to 1. The players will talk things over with their coaches. And then this game will commence. A good start to the game for the Swedish player, already up two to one. will undoubtedly want to win this game and not give his opponent the three to one advantage. Uh, Garel on the other hand will be looking to do exactly that. Go up three to one with the chance of winning the next game and making it four one and booking a place in the semifinals. Three, 
The fourth game between the two start off in exactly the same way the other three games, previous three games started off. A close contest. The Park girl buries the backhand there to put him up by one. Delivers that one into the body of his opponent, forcing Gachina to extend back and respond with the backhand, but he gets stuck at net. Gurel up by two. Let's see if he'll be able to build on it. Sloppy backhand return there by Gurel. And Gachina finds himself within one once more. That was a well-delivered flick, lifting that close to the net, well-placed on behalf of Park Garel. The other quarter finalists in the men's singles are Dmitry Ovtarov, Gionis Panagiotis. This matchup, which we'll have coming your way immediately after this one ends between Andre Gacina and Park Garel. And that should be an interesting one to follow as well. So make sure you stay tuned. Ruin Filus and Tiago Apollonia are also in the quarterfinals, pairing up against each other. And then you have the duo of Robert Gardosh and Marcos Freitas as well. Brilliantly placed forehand return there by Gacina. Down the line, knowing very well his opponent was away from the table and had a lot of ground to cover. And as you see, Garel couldn't get there in time to return. But he does find himself up by two, and he has the advantage of the serve. And a good serve it is. Will this one also come down to the line? Will, will, will Garel win the next two points and finish it off? Well, he's on his way to doing exactly that. Game point for Par Garel. To put himself up 3-1. He attempts to tuck this one away before Gacina catches up with him. Good serve by Gacina there. You can see the backspin on the ball here in the replay. Look at that. 
brilliantly executed, earning him a well-deserved point. Timeout is called to talk things over. It's Parker L's coach calling the timeout. Young Dad will be felt that his player needed a bit of convincing and talking to before he let things slip away. As his lead has been diminishing. So here we go. Garel with the serve advantage, playing for a game point. Another well executed forehand stroke there by Andre Gacina. And we find ourselves once again in the same spot, 10 to 9. What a comeback by Andre Gacina, down by four. He forces his way back into this one. The sheer focus and concentration of the player can be seen there in his reaction. And this one goes into extension. Gacina will be serving now. By Pergarel doing what he needed to do in the last four rallies. Can he see can he see this one through? And he does. Took a bit more hard work, but did it after losing the first game 9 to 11 to the spirited and determined Andre Gacina. Pargrel has gone on to win the next three games as close as they might be. And he's up three to one. He has a chance to win this next one and book a place in the semifinals. This one will resume after this break. Let Last one. Two, 
Выключите свет, пожалуйста. Gacchino off to a good start in this fifth game between the two. Back to back points sees him establish a lead. He's down by 3 1, has quite a lot of ground to cover. Will he be able to find a way back into this, or will Clark Garrell win a game and move into the next round? We'll have to wait and see. Series of good deliveries by Gurels. He's cut down the deficit. And he has the serve advantage. But she's not happy there. Rightfully so. He couldn't quite usher that one over the net. He tried to get under it and deliver a top spin. Forehand stroke. Three all. The game is tied once more. A sight we've been used to seeing so far in this matchup between the two. Sorry. Three, four. Time out is called. The Croatian camp knows the significance of this game. A loss we'll see Gacina eliminated in the quarterfinals. And Park Garel going to no, see him move up in the rankings as these two players are ranked right underneath each other. The China 11th in Europe in the men's category and Park Garel 12th. Getting the lucky bounce this time around. What a rally that was. Both players giving it their all. Tit for tat. Powerful forehand strokes delivered with venom. And Garel coming out on top. A brilliantly delivered forehand stroke there by Garel down the line. Just look at that finishing. body forcing him to retaliate 
and earning the point. So Gurel is still up by one. And it's a close game as always. Gachina serving. Once again, another well delivered forehand stroke to the far edge of the table. Look at that. Place to perfection. The athletic Gachina unable to maneuver his way to get to that in time. Nasty the edge, but he'll take it. Apologizing in the process. Frustrated there, complaining to the umpire about his opponent's serves. Gurel finds himself playing for game point and match point. King Gachina dig his way back into this. No, he can't. The most decisive win yet, 11 6. Sees Par Gurel move on into the semi final. Stay tuned. In another five to six minutes, we'll have another exciting matchup coming your way in the men's singles category. It's another quarterfinal. It's Dimitri Ovtarov taking on Gionis Panagiotis of Greece. That one will be coming your way shortly. Mm -hmm. 